Hello, race fans. Welcome back to Garden Canyon Run. This is Brock Wheeler. I'm here to bring you all the action today in a super exciting edition of Top Cat, where we're going to see some cars uh, go head to head against each other to earn the right to take on the current Top Cat Mama G of G4 Diecast Racing. Like I say, it's a beautiful day here today, and it's uh, it's going to be some really exciting racing that you're going to see here. It's a little bit of water on the track. It's a uh, spring. The racing today we got Numbskull Racing, Ragged Rust, Grumpy Cloud, and a Team Ragtag bringing some serious heat. If you haven't been here before, there's eight checkpoints on the track. First car across the checkpoint wins the point, and the most points wins and moves on to take on the Top Cat. You're looking at right now all the previous cars that have had their dreams dashed on the most dangerous track in the Northwest. And then right now here uh, you're looking at the uh, cars yet to race, and yet to take on their chance against the Top Cat and their chances against the most dangerous track in the Pacific Northwest. We are taking a final look at the track up to the start gate. And then we're going to take a look at Mama G, the current Top Cat in that sparkly gold 76 Corvette. That thing is a beast. And if you take note, 57.6 grams, not the uh, one of the lighter cars that has been Top Cat here. And as is custom, we're giving her a practice run. Take the temperature of the track for the day. And as you can see, she hasn't made it to checkpoint four. She's looking kind of fallible today here, race fans. We'll have to see how she does against our uh, first uh, challengers here. We got Jackson Daniels for Team uh, Numbskull Racing, driving in that Hot Wheels Nissan 350Z. That is a beast. And then up against Ori, driving Raggedness for Team Ragged Rust. That's a matchbox. It's a Mustang Jeep matchup. Ori's in the outside lane. Jackson's in the inside lane. Jackson Daniels with the whole shot and taking it all the way down to the finish straight. With a superb performance on run number one. Ori putting in a nice run himself, but it, it doesn't really matter against Jackson Daniels on run number one. Oh, and as you can see, our, we have a new camera four position that looks like it's kind of come apart a little bit. And you can see uh, Jackson Daniels getting the whole shot and just running away with it. Looking like he knows how to knows how to tame the G4 diecast drop coming out of turn two, riding that braking rail just a little bit to reduce his pace into turn three. Making it all the way down past checkpoint seven. Beautiful run. We we'll have to see what Ori can bring uh, into this next run from the inside lane. Ori's in the red car on the inside. Jackson Daniels on the outside, Ori taking the whole shot. Ori looking good down turn two. Oh! Jackson Daniels taking advantage of, of Ori's bad luck there coming out of turn three. We're gonna have to take another look at this, but yeah, Ori carried a ton of pace in the turn three and couldn't handle it. Took the whole shot handily. And look at this run into turn two like a pro. But the secret is to not carry too much speed in the turn three. And you can see right here, that's what did Ori in on this run. And opened the door for Jackson Daniels. He was not about to let that go by. So this means it's 12 to three. That's a nine point spread. So Ori's got to get some points on the board here. Yeah. Nice straight run all the way down through checkpoint eight. Beautiful job, Jackson. We get Tom, Dick, and Harry down here on the case. We'll get Ori right at, um, situated back up back in the star gate. Ori's on the outside. Jackson Daniels on the inside. From the outside, Ori taking the whole. Oh, it's a tight battle in the turn one. And Jackson has run away with it coming down coming down G4 diecast drop. And it looks like 
The judges have awarded Ori one point for that first checkpoint, but this was a tight battle. How to turn one. It looks like Ori was taking it clearly, but upon the exit... Yeah, Ori takes Ori takes uh, checkpoint one, but that's where, that's where Jackson Daniels just takes over. Never looks back. The way Jackson Daniels handles turn three. This is possibly the most consistent car we've ever seen on this track. In Jackson Daniels uh, 350Z. Three runs and yet to not make it to the to the uh, finish straight. I have to go back and check our records, but I, I think that's a record right there on itself. Three runs in a row down to the finish straight. Superman of uh, ND Racing um, might possibly have that record. Here we go for run number four. We're going to see Ori on the inside, Jackson Dan is on the outside. Oh! So I don't, we don't know what happened to Ori, but Jackson Daniels putting in a, a perfect run with a stylish spin across checkpoint eight. Don't know what happened to Ori back there. Oh man, he just got squeezed into the inside wall on turn one, and that was all Jackson Daniels needed. Look at this. This is one of the. This is just a perfect run. just fantastic so we know Jackson Daniels is going to be taken on the top cap that means Ori is going to be going home despite a really nice looking set of runs there Ori great job Oof. and so that means we're going to be moving on to another set of uh, races here we got Donnie from uh, Grumpy Cloud driving that Tesla Cybertruck Weighs 74.2 grams going up against Ragtag from Team Ragtag in a custom Hot Wheels Challenger flatbed with a similar weight, 73.7 grams. This should be close. Ragtag's on the outside, Donnie's on the inside, Donnie's taking the whole shot. Ragtag making a beautiful pass and wow, and putting in a blistering run. Well, that was just fantastic. Take another look at what happened to Donnie down here. All right, here we go. Donnie's on the inside. It looks like Donnie's taking the whole shot. He does so pretty nice, but then loses control, and that's where that's where Ragtag takes over. Once again, the hand will turn three beautifully. Getting all the way down across checkpoint eight on his first time on the track. The judges are giving that checkpoint eight to to Ragtag. He used the flagpole for all it was worth. Beautiful job. Ragtag on the inside, Donnie's on the outside. And another tight battle and out at turn one. Donnie looking fantastic. From the outside lane, taking the whole shot. And not getting all the way across checkpoint four, so that's not gonna count. So he's only gonna get three points on that run. Let's hope that doesn't bite him in the butt. Here's another look at this. this really tight battle into and out of turn one. beast handling turn two in the drop fine but not carrying a lot of pace if only ragtag could have kept it together but uh wasn't able to make a pass that's the end of that run there's three points in this right now it's seven uh, seven points ragtag to four points donnie let's we'll see what happens here after run number three Donnie's on the inside, Ragtag's on the outside, and the orange Challenger flatbed. Ragtag taking it. Oh! Not able to get through turn three cleanly. 
it stays wheels down. Donnie's also wheels down, but he's down in the garden bed. That ragtag just squeezing Donnie into the wall, and holding his line, and taking a nice run down all the way until turn three. Keeping the wheels down. All right, so that means now there's a, there's six points in this. There's one run left to go. Let's see what Donnie can do here from the outside lane. And it is another tight battle. Oh, Ragtag is going to take this one. Once again, carrying a lot of pace into turn three and not able to handle it. But Ragtag is going to take this heat. Donnie, thanks for racing. That's the end of Team Grumpy Cloud's time here. Um, fantastic job for every one of you on the team. But today it's all ragtag. Just another look at him flying out of turn three. And skidding across the porch. Fantastic job. All right, so that means ragtag's gonna be taken on um, Mama G after the break here, uh, along with um, Jackson Daniels. And then while we're uh, while we're waiting to get that set up, uh, I mentioned Superman. It's worth noting that um, let's have a moment of remembrance for Superman, who was lost in the mail on his way back to to ND Racing headquarters. So Superman is no more. Former uh, Top Cat who survived, I think, six or maybe even seven rounds as Top Cat. Unrivaled. All right, here we go. We got Jackson Daniels on the inside. We got Mama G on the outside. Mama G taking that whole shot. Jackson giving her the business all the way down. Then once again, getting down to the bottom end of the track. That's five runs in a row for Jackson Daniels. Getting down to the bottom end of the track. Let's see how the judges award this. We got four points to Jackson Daniels. We got three points to Mama G. Once again, took the whole shot. That is what has been setting Mama G apart. Her lighter weight gives her the the advantage coming out of the start gate. Look at Jackson Daniels just give her the business the whole way down into turn three. Relentless. I don't, I don't know if we've ever seen a car like Jackson Daniels uh, 350Z here at Garden Canyon Run. Absolutely taming this track. If Mama G isn't shaking in her boots. She ought to be. All right, so there's only one point in this so far. That's run number one. It's a long, uh, long race ahead of us. Anything could still happen here. So look at uh, Team Ruckus's uh, entries from earlier in the series, and Team Alicat Race Club there. As we see Tom, Dick, and Harry getting Mama G put back together for run number two. Mama G's in the inside, Jackson Daniels on the outside. Mama G taking the whole shot. Getting turned around. Oh, and getting a getting a really helpful shot from Jackson Daniels, who was trying to make that late charge. It's been his signature on the track. Finally stymied and not able to get past checkpoint five and off the porch. Take another look at this here. Mama G. Clean, you're clearly getting the whole shot once again, getting caught up into a drift before hitting G4 diecast drop. Turning it back around though, in time to get a serious boost from Jackson Daniels. He wasn't able to carry enough pace himself to get down off the porch. Well, that could be Jackson Daniels undoing right there, but there's two runs left. There's five points in this. Anything can happen. Let's not come to any conclusions just yet. You can see uh, Team Ruckus's sprocket getting a little thunder bunder there. All right, Mama G's on the outside. Jackson Daniels on the inside. Mama G with the whole shot. Oh, man. Another late charge from Jackson Daniels doesn't get him off the porch because of hitting Mama G. So the two points apiece, so that's nothing nothing for Jackson Daniels there uh, as far as going toward winning the heat. 
take another look at this here with a, a spectacular hit from Jackson Daniels as, the, as he hits the porch and hits Mama G. Sends her spinning. But that was enough to keep him from, uh, from getting across checkpoint five. So there's still five points in this with one, one run to go. Mama G's in the lead. Another look at that spectacular hit. Dang. Well, that's what Tom, Dick, and Harry are for. Luckily, we've we've yet to need the uh, the medics down here. All right, here we go. Mama G's on the inside lane, taking the whole shot. Can Jackson Daniels get past her? Oh, once again. Hitting Mama G and giving her the pace she needs, the boost she needs to get down onto the finish straight and to seal the deal. Sealing her crown as Top Cat. Jackson Daniels, you might be one of the best cars we've seen on the track here so far, but it wasn't enough. It wasn't enough against Mama G and the most dangerous track in the Northwest, combining to foil your plans. Wow, excellent run, Jackson, and Team Numskull. Team Numskull still has one car in this series, um, by the way, but uh, today it's Mama G, Top Cat, long live the Top Cat. I wasn't sure she was going to make it off the porch there, but she never gave up. Did what she had to do to, to win the heat. Excellent job, Mama G. All right, so that means we're gonna see Mama G go up uh, once again, this time against Ragtag. Mama G's on the inside, Ragtag's on the outside. From the outside leg, Ragtag. Taking the taking checkpoint one, but that's as far as he's gonna get right there in front of the G4 diecast logo at, at turn two. Well that could be decisive right there. There's two things to learn from this. Mama G has been winning because of her ability to take the whole shot consistently, and it looks like Ragtag's gonna be giving her a hard time there. But also, can Ragtag keep it together? get past turn two. All right, let's see what happens here in this next run. Ragtag's on the inside, Mama G's on the outside. It's a tight battle all the way to turn two. Ragtag taking it all the way down to the finish straight. Fantastic job. Leaving Mama G on the porch straight. It's now eight points to nothing, ragtag over Mama G, and you can see that super battle all the way to checkpoint two between these two competitors. And a beautiful ride down the descent through turn three to carry the pace that, it, that he needs to get all the way down to the finish straight. Just a fantastic job. Keep it straight to collect that last point. Let's see, we got two more runs to go here. Mama G is no slouch, so let's see what she can do here in these next couple of runs to even things back up. Alright, run number three, we got Mama G on the inside, we got Ragtag on the outside. Looks like Mama G's gonna take this one. Oh, and falling off the track on the descent. With some heads up driving by Ragtag to collect one point. And another ferocious battle in the turn one. Mamaji taking it this time, but yeah, she's losing it down the descent. Gets back, somehow gets herself back up onto the track, but but not fully. And then 
Ragtag is able to make the pass, collect checkpoint 3, but that's as far as he goes, so there's 7 points in this with run, 1 run to go. 7 points in this with 1 run to go. Everything's on this last run for Mama G to try to keep her crown as top cat, and for Ragtag to try to take it in the, the best chance that Team Ragtag has had here yet at Garden Canyon Run. Ragtag taking the whole shot, Mama G giving him the business and losing it at the descent, opening the door for Ragtag, who's going to take this all the way to the finish straight, he's going to take it all the way to the highest perch on the porch, long live the top cat, the top cat is dead, Mama G, Mama G has been undone, we have a new top cat, it's Ragtag from Team Ragtag, and here's how he did it in a close battle. I have to say, checkpoint two is, is too close to call, but since the point is moot, um, we're just gonna give it to Ragtag. And the judges don't really wanna work that that hard to really figure out who, who earns that point, so they're giving it to Ragtag as it's moot anyway. What a job taking it all the way down to the finish straight here. Another look at your at your new top cat from the new camera four position. What a fantastic job as he runs into Alley Cat Race Club's Camaro there that was ridden, driven by Big Dodge. Excellent job, Ragtag. Excellent job, Mama G. There's still a couple of cars left for G4 Diecast Racing, so they're not out of this series yet. There's your new top cat, folks. Wow. What a fantastic day of racing. Hey, thanks to all our sponsors. Thanks uh, for all of you who've been spending in cars here. Really appreciate your uh, what you guys do. I'm Brock Wheeler. It's been my pleasure to bring you the action today. What a day it's been. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you'll subscribe. I hope you'll come back uh, to watch some more rounds here in another, uh, another week and a half or so. We'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.